Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am looking a hot mess. I just got back from Rocky Point yesterday, but I really wanted to film a uh, demo and review of the September Boxy Lux box. So this is an upgraded box that comes out every three months, of which you pay an additional $28. So it's about $50 for the box for that month. And it comes with about six extra products. So I wanted to do a little demo and review. I did already kind of play with some of these products already, but I thought I would do a little look with it. So let's get started, shall we? So first I just wanted to show you all the products that I got and then we're going to work through our look. So the first thing I got is the Tarte Park Ave Princess Chisel Palette. This is very nice, very heavy, nice packaging. It's all smooth. It does have little divots where that is, but it's very heavy and metal. And then on the inside, so they look like this. Uh, this one is a little bit shimmery. This one and this one are matte. And then this one has a little bit of like a sheen to it. Definitely not like a shimmer, but more like a sheen. And then these two are matte for highlighting under eyes powders. And the Tarte uh, Park Avenue Princess palette is retail for $45. So that's pretty good already. And then I got the Girlactic Skin Glow Duo, which looks like this. Now this is kind of a cream formula. Actually, this is a cream formula. I'll put it right here for you. So those are the two colors in there. This one's like a goldy type of color and it is really pretty when it blends out. And then this one's a bit more pink. And the Girlactic Skin Glow Duo is retailed for $26. The next item retails for $35 and that is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. And the outside looks like this. And then we're going to open it up. So it has some nice cool tone shades, some shimmery shades, nice matte shades. The next thing is this Death Valley Dry Shampoo and this retails for $17. Supposed to add volume and thickness to your hair. The next thing is the limited edition Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water and I got the citrus flavor. So it looks like that, and it does smell kind of like orangey, lemony. Why not, right? Hmm. I have the original Smashbox primer water, and uh, the scent is really nice, but I do not like the little mechanism on this bottle. It works really weird. Came out kind of like a thick mist um, as opposed to the original bottle. And it could just be the bottle, uh, but the original had like a nice mist. This primer water is retail for $32. The next item I received is this Sol de Janeiro Ipanema Sunset Glow Oil. So it looks like that. And it says that you can mix it in with your foundation and uh, on your body. It's for face and body. So I thought that was kind of nice. Let's see what it looks like. So I just put a little on my hand. Okay, so it is like an oil. Definitely feels like an oil. Yeah, see, so you can see my shimmer there. Okay. Um, the only problem that I have found is it just has like this drip bottle. It's just open with the product. I would like like a pump or something like that. Um, the bottle's not 
that great. This does retail for $35 though, so that is quite a good deal for $35. So the next thing I got is a liquid lipstick from Grande Cosmetics. It is the Grande Lips Hydro Plump Liquid Lipstick in Rebel Raisin. And so the little packaging looks like this and it does allow you to see in to the color. I do want to use this color today in our look. Now this does have a plumper in it, so be careful if you don't really like a little pricking to it. Uh, but this is the color. I think it's really pretty, a nice deep fall red. And I have noticed that this does not dry down completely. So we'll see what the formula is like, but it's not like a drying matte liquid lipstick type of formula. And that retails for $25. The next item is a brush. It is a foundation brush from Luxie, and it's called the Airbrush Foundation Brush, and it retails for $38, and it looks like this. Now this brush is so soft. This brush is so soft. I'm so so excited and it is just like a round rounded face brush but it is so soft I cannot wait to try this out and then we also got a uh, product from juice beauty this is the stem cellular anti-wrinkle booster serum so it looks like this and this retails for $80 I actually won't be using this. I am giving it away to a friend. I have used uh, Juice Beauty products before and I have found that they make my eyes water really bad, like burn. So I am giving that away. The next product is a little eye brush set from Alamar Cosmetics and this retails for $18. You do get like a fluffier eyeshadow brush, like for your crease, like a blender brush. And you also get a flat uh, like eyeshadow type of brush. And then you also get a flat brush here. A flat definer brush as well. So those are the three brushes. And the last product is this really cute little uh, hair holder, little headband. It is from the Vintage Cosmetics Company and it's called the Dolly Bow Makeup Headband. I think this is so cute. It's got a little bow and it is like a kind of towel-y material so it's good if your hair is wet. Great if you're putting on your makeup. And that retails for $4.99. So after adding everything together, that makes this box a retail price of $356. And I did get it for $50 for the box. So I think that's a really great price. As I've said before, I love BoxyCharm. I love the products that they give. And I think it gives you a nice little selection of products. If you're not very picky about colors and things like that, I think you would really enjoy it. So now let's go ahead and get into the makeup look. So the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face. I'm using the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream to moisturize under my eyes. And then I am using the Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream for my face. I am so tan from Mexico. I, I had 100 SPF 100 on my face and I apply that three times a day probably maybe even four so tan so then I'm gonna be using the Smashbox priming water in the citrus scent and I'm gonna try to get a decent spray but I don't know if you can see it kind of like squirts really weird so that's unfortunate, but. It's okay. I'm not really a fan of the sprayer on that. I think 
a really bad bottle. It smells good though. I'm going to fill in my pores with the Cover FX Blurring Primer. And I'm gonna be putting that in my T-zone. For foundation, I'm gonna try out the foundation brush from Luxie. And I am gonna be mixing my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in Nude Beige W3. And I'm gonna be mixing that with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in Natural Buff 204. And I'm just gonna mix that on the back of my hand. And we're gonna hope that that color matches. I usually like to use a sponge for my foundation, but when I got this, I was very excited. It's really soft. All right, I'm just gonna go in quickly and blend that with my sponge. I did like that foundation brush. I think I put it on nicely, but I need to pick up any extra product with my beauty blender. It helps with the cakiness. But I thought it blended it pretty good for a brush. For concealer, I'm taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. I just like to use my finger, kind of get it on. And I'm just going to use a little bit of the Bye Bye Breakout in light. I'm going to put that on this area of my chin. A little extra coverage and up here. Blend that in with the sponge. So now that I have my base down, I'm gonna be using a little bit of this Girlactic Skin Glow in Moonlight, and I'm gonna use this one here. And I think I'm just gonna take a little bit on my beauty blender and I'm just gonna pop that on the high points of my face. It's really pretty actually. Very subtle. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of the pink side as like a little pre-blush type of situation. Pretty, look how glowy. Now I'm gonna make sure everything is set. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. First, I'm going to make sure there are no creasings under the eyes. I'm going to take my sponge and bake under the eyes. Throw a little on the lid, forehead, smile lines, chin, around the nose. <clears throat> now I'm just quickly going to take my Morphe E41 with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW25 and I'm going to set the rest of my face. Alright, so to bronze up the skin, I am going to be using my Morphe R2 with the Park of Princess palette. And I'm going to be taking this one to bronze. Alright, I have not used this yet, so let's see how this goes. Wow, that's pigmented. I'm going to contour using the NARS Eda brush, and we're going to go in with this color here. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm just going to blend. Don't forget under the chin. Ooh, that's nice. And then with my Morphe R10, I'm going to go in with the two highlight shades here. And I'm going to put that under my eyes, on my forehead, along my nose, and on my chin. That's really pretty. Now for blush, I'm going to be using the Note Cosmetics Blush in Desert Rose. It's super pretty, very natural. So we're just going to pop a little bit of that on the apples of our cheeks. And I'm going to blend that out. 
All right, so we have most of our base done. I'm gonna wait to do highlighter until we're done, just so I can make sure I'm not going too overboard if my eyes end up being more overboard than I want to make them. So let's zoom you in and get into the eye tutorial. I to put my cute headband on, dang it. Cute. Well, it kept the foundation out of my hair. It's actually really cute. Okay. So, obviously I'm going to be using the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Smoky Eye Palette. As I've said already, it looks like this. I really want to use that dark lip, so I'm trying not to do a super intense eye look. I'm going to take the Morphe 504 and this Hide and Seek shade right here. And we're going to blend that into the crease as our transition shade. Let's see if that comes up. Oh yeah. Nice and cool tone. I'm very tan for a cool tone look right now, but that's fine. That's blending nicely. It's actually a really pretty color. Nice for defining the crease. Nice cool tone shade here. Now I'm going to take a Morphe 518 and this flip out shade right here. And we're going to buff that a little bit lower in the crease. That shade was a tiny bit harder to blend, but it wasn't bad. Now I'm gonna take Swoop, which is this dark brown color on a Morphe R39. We're gonna put that in the outer of our lid and buff it into the crease for some dimension. A little bit of the 504 with that first hide and chic seek shade. Pretty. Using a MAC 242, I'm going to be taking this clutch shade right here. And I'm going to be putting that all over the lid. Ooh, that's dry. That's pretty pretty. Pretty pretty, y'all. All right, I am gonna spritz though, with a little of that primer water. That's really pretty, y'all. I'm really liking that color. Ooh, pretty! Just the smallest amount of fallout on that sparkly shade. Can you see it over here? Those shadows were nice. I did this pretty dark look and the fallout really was not bad. It's really pretty. Okay, so underneath, I am going to take the hide and seek color on a BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm gonna run that under my eyes. And then I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in Extreme Black. And I am going to put this in my waterline and in my tight line. I am going to be taking the flat shader brush from my BoxyCharm collection and that swoop shade that we used right here. And we're gonna put that close to the lower lash line as we can. And then with a Morphe E18, I'm gonna take the flip out shade right here, and I'm gonna blend that all out. 
And then a little bit with that first shade, just to make sure everything's blended. Make sure everything connects in this corner. That is really, really pretty actually. <laughs> Especially because I am a warm tone girl, but this is really pretty. I like it. I am gonna run through my eyebrows really quickly. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of liner on the top. And I am using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Just doing a very small wing. Alright. Something like that, a little subtle wing. Okay, I am gonna zoom you out. And we're gonna finish up. See, look how cute this is. Isn't it cute? I love it. Take it off. I am actually gonna be putting a little bit of dry shampoo in my hair. It's just fuzz, people. It's just fuzz. Why is there so much fuzz in my hair? Oh. <laughs> the little headband giving me fuzz. Shake that in a little bit. Like to toss it around. Get that real nice and in there. And then I do like to let it soak for a minute. So we will go back to the face. Actually, I'm gonna put on some mascara. Throw my fellow seats. Okay, and then no. Be using the Sophie Bella Lashes in Malibu. While my lashes dry, I'm going to put on some highlight. I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Sarcophagus. Looks like this. Very pretty. Var, var pretty. And then I'm also going to use that on a Sigma E32. It's kind of a little flat guy. And I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. And a little on my inner corner. All right, I'm gonna spray with my Morphe setting spray. All right, so now we're gonna move on to lips. I am going to be using a lip liner. I'm just gonna be using the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Hot Red. And I'm just gonna quickly line my lips with this. Okay, and then I'm gonna be taking the Grande Lips Hydra Plump Liquid Lipstick in Rebel Raisin. Okay guys, I'm gonna go do my hair and we will show off the final look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I think this turned out so pretty. Uh, I was a little wrong about the mat, the lip. It's like a really comfortable mat, actually. 
Yeah, a little transfer, so just be careful when you're kissing your significant other. That's why I usually wear a matte lipstick. But um, I do feel it plumping, but it's not like really painful or anything. Kind of has a weird smell, but other than that, I think it's like a really nice lipstick actually. I really love how the eyeshadow turned out. Digging the lip. My contour is on point. Uh, what else? Oh, even the um, dry shampoo, it actually made my hair like really nice and soft on top, so that's nice. And I liked the foundation brush, but I don't really use foundation brushes. The eyeshadow palette I think is so pretty for more of a cool tone glam. Like look at how gorgeous that eye look is. It turned out so good. I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review and demo of the first Boxy Lux box. The next one is out in December, so make sure to get your hands on it. I will link my referral code below and my link so that if you are interested in BoxyCharm, you can use that and we can both get a free gift. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below if you liked this look or if you would ever try BoxyCharm. Well, I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy buys. The next item is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Smoking Smoking, smoking eyeshadow palette. Now, the priming water, and I got the Citrix. Citrix. So, the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my face. I am using the Oral Hendrickson. Ole Hendrickson? I am using the Oral Ole Hen Ole Hendrickson? Ole Hendrickson? I am going to be using a little bit of this silvery one here, or this gold one. Ah! Because I couldn't see. wet my skin is. <laughs> Ew.